Hello, hello, hello. Pete, thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Uh, do we want to like go around your beautiful blue screens and say who you guys are? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy Miles, member of Pete. I'm Rebecca Lingefelter, member of Pete. Miranda Hardy, member of Pete. Trevor Sargent, also member. Peter Cassander, part of Pete. Christina Mast, part of Pete. Fantastic. Does somebody want to say a few words about Pete? I can, but I feel like it might be best from the horse's mouth. Yeah, we're a, a collective of artists living and working in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we make um, new work and scripted work and um, in a collaborative and emergent way. Awesome, yeah, and for me personally, Pete, uh, Rebecca was one of my professors at Lewis and Clark, uh, and it was a really great outlet and way to get into seeing cool, weird, professional shit in Portland uh, with a smaller theater scene that I was used to. So it was a very cool thing, and you guys are some of my favorite makers from there. So I was so glad for able to be able to get you to do this. Um, do any of you have like very strong thoughts about AI or experience playing with it before? Or I, not a lot of experience playing with it. Um, uh, mixed thoughts about it and its future and, and how it gets used. Pretty impressed with some of the things it does. Um, interested in how it picks details, best as I understand, as it's training itself to, to key into, and that it picks details that we might not pick. You know, that, that like, like, uh, the only example that quick comes to mind is like, how to identify Russian tanks? Well, the ones in the snowy background instead of the ones in the foresty background. That's how you know it's a Russian tank. <laughs> and like, uh, okay, that wouldn't be how anybody else would identify that. But 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 that, that that's the sort of uh, so the the cho how, how, yeah the 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 non-human intuition, I guess. Definitely. And you guys, uh, unlike uh, most people that are messing around making with this, you've gotten in and you've played with it a little bit over Zoom with here. So you guys could come in armed with a plan and really take it down experimental theater troupe style. Yeah. And I, I mean, I feel like one of the things, a couple of the themes that arose from that kind of work session were the way, like what the AI can tell us about a kind of um, zeitgeist or a kind of like aggregate um, understanding of an event or a situation uh, sort of through the prism of the internet, like that the internet can can give us some kind of um, crystal ball or, or lens through which to see the way that the mass culture views something. So I feel like that's kind of something we we sort of gra gravitated around and spoke spoke about a lot. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get into it because I know we've got limited time here. I'll start sharing my screen. I'm going to copy paste a link to a Google Doc if you guys want to feed me text that way. Great. Um, or you can always just speak it out. I will do my best to keep up. Um, but I just do that in the chat there and I will get my screen up in just a second. Fantastic. So, and again, the main thing that you'll be messing with uh, will be response length and temperature and closer to uh, one will be like less logical things or like less probable uh, completions. And as you get closer to zero, it'll start repeating itself more and uh, stick to very logical or maybe what's only in the text that you've given it so far. So what, so what we have brought um, is, is names, um, names of um, people that have died from COVID in the last year. Um, we had lots of conversations about different things to think about today, but this sort of kept coming up. And please um, jump in if I, as I miss details or or fill in the picture of more. Um, 
I mean, I think this, you know, this time right now, like being mm. sort of exactly a year out from the lockdown and from the beginning of, for most of us, what became the real experience of the pandemic, um, thinking about how we mark that time um, felt like just something that kept coming up amongst us. So um, this is sort of where we landed. Uh, and this idea of how, how, how do we name a life? How do we remember a life? Um, and, and also how do we represent the um, sort of in, in inconceivable loss of like 500,000 people like that just seems sort of impossible to even be able to think about um so we brought we brought some names um with maybe a curiosity about what how the ai would paint a picture of this person's life and the potential of there being multiples of this person right and the way like what how does this kind of um aggregate of the culture like speak speak into a memorial about these people yeah i think that's absolutely fascinating and well-placed energy does somebody want to drop me names in the google doc or how do we want to go about adding them and we we all came with multiple names how do we want to do it you guys do we want to put all the names in there do we want to put one name at a time what feels right so I propose a structure like this. Um, someone's name, comma, who died in 2020 of COVID-19, comma, was. So it's not going to have COVID-19 and things like that necessarily in its uh, lexicon because it stopped this. It was trained in like 2019 or up to oh. that point in time. So we might get into some goofy sci-fi stuff there, but... Oh. Uh, Oh, that's super interesting. Uh, it definitely knows pandemic disease, all sorts of things like that. So, okay, who died in the pandemic? Yeah, I mean, you can say COVID twenty. We can see where that goes, also, but uh, just more background for you to chew on. Yeah, it's not I necessarily up to date. Let's say in the pandemic. So, um, uh, uh, oh, great. So wait, so someone died in a, the pandemic, who, they were? Who, right? Who died in the pandemic? Was? Was. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And we'll just leave it on the standard response and temperature to start. Yep. Fantastic. Fascinating. We keep it going a little bit, see where it goes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> with no what a world with no sadness uh june uh -huh. <laughs> yeah maybe there maybe there yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. a wonderful life yeah so can we put that in the dock of course and we we didn't when I mean, we sort of said maybe we would end the work with uh, each of us reading these, does that still feel right to folks that we sort of make the object, we make the text and then we read them or do we read and go with what feels best read as we go? I think I, I think that would be a great way to wrap it up at the end. Yeah. 
I feel interested. Wait till the end. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I think do it at the end is sort of like the five. Great. Was that yours, Miranda? It was. It was a totally different June Maida than I was thinking of. So yeah. that was exciting. So good. We've got Raul Hernandez. Is that you, Christy? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's put that one in. And we want to keep it at the uh, level of logical. I think for the moment we do. We might want to run a second pass through if we have time. OK, yeah, yeah. Mm. 1918 pandemic. Yeah. Mm. Turn this up a little so it doesn't have to submit so often. That gave us the end there, but we can ask it for more if we want. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I feel like okay. can... You like that, Christy? Is that yeah. what you said? Yeah. yeah feels like, I mean, it did, it was like, and we're done, uh, right? So I'll throw that in there, but it, we're not necessarily a slave to it saying we're done. We can always go back and edit or uh, delete the last sentence and ask it for to continue going from there. Uh, just so you guys know, but I'll throw that in there. Okay, there's a new one. Oh, it's Michelle Alexander, right? Yeah, do one more. Can will you do one more? Of Michelle Alexander? Yeah, can it go one more? Oh yeah. Let's. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, good. We'll leave it there. Fantastic. That's an interesting, that's a good um, caveat. Somebody, yeah, somebody added that had about the yeah. same. So I, I, I took a slightly different tact on getting my names. Mm. Um, I went hunting for the most common first name, last name pairs in the country. Yes. Um, yeah. And Robert Smith is the third most common combination of first name and last name in the country, according to it in 2017, 2013 or something. 2013, yeah. if I remember right, article. So I, I was thinking, uh, thinking about that aggregate idea of names. And so these would be the people in theory, there'd be the most of yeah. mm -hmm. or the most on. So. And the numbers are such that that well, the average is say five hundred thousand, half a million have died, and there are thirty six thousand Robert Smiths in the country. Work sort of, yeah, it's likely that that name is among. Let's see, Find out. Let's see what the AI has got for it. <laughs> yes. It yeah. Went here. It went there. Yeah. And is this because and like? So this is just 
at the probability that it's set, this is a possible possible generation for a Robert Smith who died in 2020. So you're kind of like pulling a lever each time and you could get a different uh, thing. But we happen to get TNG, the neutral zone. <laughs> Robert Smith who died in 2020 in the neutral zone. And he appeared in the 24th century. Do we want to keep this Robert Smith or do we want to try another Robert Smith? Uh, we should try another. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And I mean, I added the 2020. We could remove the 2020. We haven't used that previously. Yeah, it's not a guarantee that it's going to send us into uh, science fiction, but there is going to be something like that because. Uh, yeah. So do you want to take it out or? Yeah, we just take it out. Specify it for this. Yeah. Keep that going. I mean, it's, I think it's so interesting that COVID is a kind of um, void for the AI. It's a little bit of a blank space. Yes, is that true? Yeah. So that, I mean, that feels really interesting to me. <laughs> well, well that, that, that's a question. Co How do we point the AI? But the AI is still trolling the internet for this stuff right now, right? Not, not right? It's not current. Yeah, it's not current. So uh, I, I think it's like October 23rd, like 2019 or something. It's it was trained. That's so interesting. So it's really a before time. I mean, this is a before time that we're looking at the lens Definitely. we're looking through. Ah. Can, can we can we just switch it then to I want to try one more Robert Smith then maybe? Yeah, because this feels a little not quite right either. But um, who who died of coronavirus? of a coronavirus. Uh, there were others. That's there why we have to call it COVID-19. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. COVID ID-19, right? So, so of a then, coronavirus then, pandemic? Or? I think just a coronavirus. coronavirus. Died of a coronavirus. Yeah. Was, yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. Hmm. You want me to continue with this? Because that would have been the SARS, this, the, the, the MERS, mm. right? Mm hmm yeah let's let's give it a little more text and we we, we cut it still at type o yeah do one more mm. Mm. I mean, I guess I just, yeah, I feel like there's something about the blankness of this last year in the AI that makes me like distrust anything the AI says. <laughs> <laughs> like, how can you do anything right now and not be in relationship to this pandemic? Yeah. Not just this pandemic, but all of the strange occurrences of 2020. Mm -hmm. I mean, 2020 isn't just about the pandemic. There was a lot of strangeness in that year. Absolutely. It's like fires. it has all of the culture like leading up to it, but none of sort of like the explosion and lockdown that, of it. It's almost, we're, and, and conversely, able to put ourselves back in the space before that was in our minds. We can like mm. understand what it was like to not know this 
somehow again. I, kind of, yeah. I, I, I feel kind of interested to add, well, I don't know. This is like totally changing it. So um, No, go, go. I feel interested because because it is the before times. Like, what if we ask it, like, how does one prepare for a pandemic? <laughs> like, or what mm. are the things we wish we would, like, what would we ask it? Like, where, where were we before this, I guess, is where I'm, but I don't know. I don't have a good, a good question for it yet. How yeah. likely is how likely is a global pandemic? <laughs> I mean, if it's if it's trained in in twenty nineteen, then perhaps it recognizes something that's happening, and so we just have to figure out how to ask it the questions that it could answer to say, "Oh, there's this thing that's been happening." Like, where have there been unusual virus outbreaks do you want me to go into q a mode with it or <laughs> i wonder if it, can, if it can predict it though do you know what i mean yeah 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 do you want uh like a assistant chatbot or you just want it in like q a like wikipedia and question answer mode so this is the prompt it gives it for uh, the, like a clever, creative, friendly assistant. Uh, and then you can just go into straight Q&A where it has a few like correctly answered questions and then like form for Q&A to continue that pattern. I, I think we should go with this form and we yeah. should ask um, how to prepare for a pandemic. Oh. How do, I, how do we? How can one? Mm. Just helpful. <laughs> Are there places in the world I should avoid to avoid a pandemic? Outbreak. <laughs> that the disease doesn't inhabit. Where are disease in? Where are diseases inhabiting? See, I can think like an AI. Oh, yeah, it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Um, how, how much TARP is recommended for preparation for a pandemic? In preparation? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're no use to me, AI. <laughs> How can where I are bat coronaviruses spiking? <laughs> Where are health, there see? outbreaks of coronavirus? Hmm. Interesting. Like it really is not. I mean, I just think this thing, it's like a it's like a blind spot. Mm. <laughs> As it yeah. was. As it was, I mean, that's what I mean. Like it's, yeah. it's, like, it's a complete void. Tell Not me about the around. wild animal markets in China. <laughs> Here, let's go back to it, just back at the beginning of this chat, just so it's not bogged down with all of its 
previous questions and answers. I mean, maybe it's just something about like this, what this collection of information is totally useless for like navigating the world. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's what, you know, I just kind of have this hunch about, I've had this hunch about it that from the beginning. And I feel like this is just like saying that, like, this is not what we need, you know, what we need is like, sort of this human integrated communal adaptive resilient <laughs> problem solving <laughs> which you this know, is not which is, is the opposite yeah can you tell me about death hmm. well, How does one grieve properly? Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What are signs of departure? What are the ways in which cultures, different cultures grieve? <laughs> What's the first? <laughs> And the second? <laughs> oh. Oh. And the third? So I think once we got this colorful response up here, it contained that in the rest of these prompts. And I think we're seeing that uh, mm. personality of this specific AI uh, assistant here. This is a weird one, I like it. Have you gotten to know that, like, like, do you feel that Isaac, when you put stuff in that you start to get to know, like because of the response, the sort of the culture or the personality of the, inquiry like I think so yeah you can kind of like track the like community or like at least you're and at the same time you're kind of like projecting into a mirror that's projecting everything <laughs> back mm -hmm. uh but you can kind of like feel like oh I've seen like somebody type like this before or I've been on an internet chat board that looks like this or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this text feels useful. Could we, could yeah. we copy and paste this into the... Absolutely. Yeah. 
do we want to get back to names or? Sure. I'd like to know about Randall Yan. Yeah. No. I think this is a very interesting thing that you've come in with. I'd love for you to get enough text out of it. Uh, just good with this prompt. No problem, for sure. I'll just add it there. Might even just end it with 1634. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Philip Kahn. Huh. And kind of grimly, it goes like right into like press release for the product rather than any sort of. <laughs> yeah. Do we want to do another one for Philip Kahn? Yeah, try another one. Yeah. And what's the temperature? So right now it's on the default, which is 0.7. Closer to one will be less probable uh, generations. We, yeah. Well, oh, who is whose is this? I don't want to. Is someone? This this one's mine. Go ahead. You can we try it more probable? Yeah. 0.5. Yeah. Huh. Going. Wow. Does that seem okay? Yeah, works sure. For me. Works for me. <laughs> the actual Philip Kahn died was like over a hundred when he died this year, and his mm -hmm. twin brother died in the as a baby in the Spanish flu pandemic. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Wow! Isn't that amazing? Incredible! I read about this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did we each get one? Uh, one do we have more. an Annie Glenn? That's yeah. my second one, but yeah, you don't let's have do, to it. do it. Do people want to see it? Oh. oh. Uh. <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> What is that from? Just who died in the pandemic, just caught on the pandemic and went the CDC route this time. But is this current, more current? No. No, this is all this the is same that we've been. It's from 1918. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, that's, wow. Well, this is not from 1918. This is referencing the 1918. Which is this might have been from one of the flus. Like yes, yeah, swine flu, bird flu. Uh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. But wow, sounds pretty. Just the fact that it tapped into the, even just the CDC and stuff kind of caused a visceral reaction from people. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, if I thought actually connected into pandemic rather than yeah something else. You want to keep going on this, or do one? Do, do one more, maybe. I, should we make the most improbable? Should we sit like? I kind of want to hear that too. Crank something up and throw a or one. H one N one. There we go. Yeah. Uh, not too late to get vaccinated. Yeah, there was a ton of fear about H1N1. Do you want to do a new name, Peter, for that? Sure. Okay. So let's get this text and then. Yeah. So just so everyone sees it, because I'm super curious. It's, I thought it was super interesting. Um, there's the list of the 13 most common and the numbers five years ago of names in the U.S. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. Let's check out Maria Rodriguez. Yeah. I actually had M Maria Gonzalez. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Oh. But I love, no, Rodriguez is great. And temperature one. I love that there's so many Marias. Maria and Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's my grandma, so. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> we want to try another one. This is like most like improbable. So it yeah. took us into. Does that feel like cool. useful text or? I don't know if the, it's weird because I feel like the credit stuff is weird. But like the statement about her trying to recover from being raped when she contracted the flu is terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we wind it back to there and let it keep going again. Yeah. So like from this? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it just felt so disconnected. Which is how it may feel and go on tangents when you're on this one. Uh, I mean, that seems, that quote is nice. Um, should we capture that text? And then we have about 15 minutes. I wonder, what what, what would you guys think about um, cutting, splicing the AI dialogue, like chunk it up between each of the monologues? So, yeah. I love that. Oh. <laughs> how many monologues are there? Or how many files? One, two, three, four, five. There are five? Yeah. Okay. Oh, someone's doing it? I, that's me. I'm just. Does anyone want to? Um... Oops, someone else is doing it. I'm sorry, okay. I, got, I got in there. Are you doing it, Trevor? Yeah. Okay, I'll just let you do it. Um, does someone want to volunteer to be the AI or the human? <laughs> you want to be the AI, Miranda, human? I can be either.
what if it's um we have the same ai person but then whoever's who is reading that the monologue bef after takes the human before does that make sense i love that mm -hmm. um and let's see june is miranda right um raul is christy i'm michelle alexander robert smith is peter randall john is trevor i don't know yeah yeah philip khan is Christina. Yep. And then do we want to do the last two? Yeah, right? The CDC thing. Annie Glenn is Christy. And then Peter Maria Rodriguez. That feels okay. So, okay. So I still just, sorry, I got them flipped. Hey, Isaac, will you be the AI, but will you do it just with your voice, not with your video? So take your video out. Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I yeah. couldn't find my uh, mute without the speaker view on. <laughs> totally fine. Um, but yes, I can, I can do that. So you'll be AI and then We'll just do it. Here's our piece. Amazing. Do we have a title? Peter, do you have a title? Here's a title, Maven. Let me pull uh, it up on my phone so I don't have to be, I can still be recording and whatnot. Uh, I don't know. I don't have it yet. Um, Open AI Science of Departure. Signs of departure. Signs of departure. That's great. I like it. Okay. I may have royally chopped this dialogue up. Totally strange way. But where are we at with that, Trevor? Uh, still working. Still working. Still working. 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 It's going to be good. I mean, this is literally tech. Working. <laughs> 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 uh, Okay. Not every monologue has dialogue before it, but that's all. I think that's okay. okay. Thank you, Trevor. Thank, Thank you. you, Trevor. Okay, here we go. Will you? Do you mind turning your video off, Isaac? I have it uh, hidden on mine, so you guys will all be. Uh, it's it, on the recording. It's just you six. Sorry. Amazing. Okay. All right. Here we go.